Hey everybody, God bless. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Hello, welcome. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey everybody, come on in. Come on in the room, come on in, come on in. Amen to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mm. Very good. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to jump on here. Look like I got makeup everywhere. I wanted to jump on here. It is y'all. The hot I thought it was hot. I didn't know why it was hot like that. Something ain't right. My dogs went outside and they came back inside quick, 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 quick. Usually they want to go outside and they want to stay. But honey, them dogs ran back up in the house. Say, I'm coming back up in there. Okay. So, but really quick. I wanted to jump on here to remind us that our confidence, our confidence, it, it, it lies in the Lord. It doesn't matter what we see that is being shaken. We got to know that faith cannot be shaken. Glory be to God. Let me turn on this uh, AC up in here. We got to understand that our faith cannot be shaken. Amen. Everything else may be able to be shaken, but our faith and our hope and our confidence is in the Lord. And it is good that we remind ourselves of who God is. Amen. It is so good that we remind ourselves about who God is, what he has done, how he has kept us, where he has brought us from. And it's also very important for us to look forward to where we're going. That's right. Where we are headed, where are we headed and how are we going to get there? We're going to get there by faith. All of the things that we have to do, it will endure because we are walking by faith. Amen. We're not walking by sight. We're not worrying about what it look like, what people say. Amen. God is a keeper now unto him who is able to keep you from falling every situation that you are in do you know that it's a test of your faith do you realize that the enemy wants to see if you're going to fail god in this uh momentary situation whatever it is that's going on but if you can rely upon the lord if you can think about it even though it's hard well press through that's what making it a test because you're being tested so what you have to do is press through. Where is your strength? Your strength is in the Lord. Your strength is in God's ability to save you. Amen. And so you have to rely on. Um, when Peter fell in the water, it was because it wasn't because it was a storm. It's because he looked at it. He looked at that storm and he allowed his eyes to be taken off of who God was. Jesus and the Lord is one. And so he didn't keep his eyes on who God was and what God was able to do. It is now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. It is him that is able to keep us. Amen. And so we have to remind ourselves, whenever you're going through difficulties, whenever something comes up, come your way, give God the praise. Say, God, it is you that have to take care of me. It is you that is going to be the one that keep me and provide for me. It is you that is going to even take care of me in my old age. It is you, Lord God, that is going to continue to make all resources abound unto me. Amen. And put the responsibility on someone that's bigger than you. You can't handle it. I can't handle it. I can't see ahead. I don't know what's coming. 
but I know who holds the future and that is the Lord God Almighty. And if he is more than able to keep us from falling, then we have to trust in the fact that he is going to do it. He is, I'm confident. You know, we have to re, uh, remind ourselves and reposition ourselves and keep ourselves confident. You know, uh, I, I don't believe that parents are not afraid but they can't become afraid to the degree that they allow their children to see. They sometimes parents don't know how they're going to make it. And they're, well, they don't know how God is going to do it. They don't. They don't know how God is going to do it. But they don't allow their children to see that. They, they, they allow their children to see them to continue, uh, to be continual in their, uh, ability to hold on and trust in God. So they don't have to know how they're going to make it. They don't break down. They get up, they go, they go to work. They keep on doing what they are supposed to do. And they, and they never, ever can figure out how it's going to work, but it always does. And the children never get to see that. The children never get to see uh, their parents um, trying to figure out how it's going to uh, work out. They only trust that their parents is everything is good according to what their parents is, uh, how their parents are uh, responding. And so if we being the children of God don't have to know how God is going to do it, but we have to trust him. And we live in a world right now, our, uh, we're living in a world that has so much uncertainties. It can be uncertain, but God is not uncertain. How and what he's going to do, it is going to be all right in Jesus' name. Y'all, there is a young lady that just walked in the store with just the bra on. Y'all might not be realizing this, but people need the Lord. When you go out, make sure you're praying for yourself but pray for others that are around you because there's some crazy stuff that is happening in our world today. Amen. Um, and pray for people that, and instead of looking down on them, you know, no, no clothes on, you know, give them a track and tell them that Jesus loves them because the only way that you can carry yourself like that is just you don't love yourself and you don't think nobody else do. So I'm going to pray for her right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, touch that young lady. Make her to know that there is salvation. Make her to know her self-worth and not allow her to carry herself like that. I pray for someone that is lost on today. Ask the Lord to cause you to come across somebody that don't know him in a part of their sin. I want you to touch and agree. I don't, you don't even have to know who she is. I don't know who she is, but apparently they're doing really bad for her to just walk around with just a bra on and she's in, she, w she just went to the place of business. Pray for her that God will let her know that he loves her. Amen. You don't have to know who she is. I want you to touch and agree with me that God touches her heart, that she will get saved in a pardon of her sin, that Jesus will miraculously cause things to line up that she can run into him. And while you're out and about, may the Lord use you to minister to somebody in that day. In Jesus' name. I love you. We'll talk later. I praise the Lord. I'm just looking at her poor thing. I'm going to go give her a track. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Hey guys, really quick. I went to her car and I was able to give the young lady a flyer. That's what's so convenient about our tracks that we are, are giving out to people. It's a flyer. Well, it's a track of saying the Lord loves you. And in the inside is the plan of salvation. So I pray that God, as she reads it, let's touch and agree that as she reads it, that God will touch her heart. Okay? That's all I have. I'll see you guys later. Bye.